Now that our services page and services categories is working, we're going to go back and finish the final step so that we can start adding portfolio entries via the Expression Engine control panel. The last thing we need to do is we need to come in and set up the custom field for the portfolio group. Notice we have our pages field group. We're going to go ahead and create a portfolio field group. And then we'll come in and add custom fields. If we go and we look at our actual portfolio page, we see that we have a title, we have an image, and then that image is going to link somewhere, obviously. Now, in this example, it was built to mirror the portfolio page on company site, Wide Sky Web. And after a number of years of just updating our site and having it be um, in depth and articles about everything and having it fall behind we've decided to go with a much simpler format where we don't link to any details page in fact these aren't linking off-site at all the idea is that we want to keep clients um, you know going in the direction that we want them to rather than you know reading too much in depth um, and this is the format here so these could either not link out at all but we're going to make it so that we could name the site, show a picture, and then when you click on it, it would go to another website, the site that you're showing off. Now, if you were to build out Expression Engine further, um, and possibly in further um, series we could do that, um, you would link to another page on your site that had the in-depth explanation of everything on it. Um, but for now, we're just going to create it so that it would link to another site. So the title comes to fall. The image will have to add as a custom field, and then the link will have to add as a custom field. So let's go ahead and create a new custom field. And this field is going to be the upload field. So we'll select File, and we'll call it the Portfolio Thumbnail. Called Portfolio Thumbnail, underscore. So Portfolio, the channel that we have, and then the field specifically and we'll say upload the thumbnail for this file. Um, this is a required field but notice that searchable here we have been selecting um, for page content but in the case of an image we wouldn't really set that as a searchable field um, but we will show it by default it can be the first one and then the type we could allow it Expression Engine can restrict it to just images so somebody can't upload a PDF or something like that. And uh, that just keeps it a little bit more strict and uh, that's, a, that's a nice thing for us. Um, so we can expect um, you know, an image to be in that when it's uploaded. So now that we have the thumbnail, we'll go ahead and create the portfolio link. And that will be an input field. And we'll say portfolio link and we'll call this one portfolio link and the instructions we're going to um, tell the person to enter in the full URL of the portfolio site and then we're going to give them a little message here and say include HTTP This is a required field. Um, we don't really need to make this searchable um, URL to another site. Uh, the max length, we'll just make this a little bit longer just in case we have something really long. And we want to change no formatting um, because we definitely don't want anything being wrapped around what should just be a strict uh, absolute URL. Um, text direction, all of this, the field content, and we could leave all of these um, off. Now that we have this created, we're just about ready to go under our content and start um, publishing our portfolios uh, pieces. However, there is an, what we call an odd bug in Expression Engine. It's actually a feature, but um, the option to turn it on and off is kind of buried. And what happens in Expression Engine is by default, if you 
when you are publishing via the um, Expression Engine Control Panel, enter in a URL, an absolute URL is the one that we wanted of the person to enter in. It will, in the template, automatically convert that into a full URL. URL, And this is convenient for bloggers or if you're just pasting a link in and you want it to be clickable. They also do the same thing for email. Um, and the setting for this is set on a channel per channel basis. So in our portfolio channel, if we go into edit preferences, and you can see there's quite a bit of preferences here. Again, Expression Engine is a very powerful and flexible CMS. But under channel posting preferences, notice that it says automatically turn URLs and emails into links. And we're going to set that to no because what we want the user to do is type in a full URL and we want to output it inside an anchor tag that's wrapped around the image. So if Expression Engine were to automatically turn it into a URL, we'd try to write our anchor tag and it would nest an anchor tag inside of our anchor tag and break our links. So, <clears throat> helpful thing to know. You could also notice turn off image URLs completely. We'll go ahead and update that. Now we're at the point where we could just go back and the final step will be updating our portfolio. Oh, we're on the page of portfolio channel. We'll come into edit group assignments and now that we have the field group for our portfolio set, we can select that. So now when we update this, we will have everything together for the portfolio, the um, custom services categories that we created, as well as the portfolio pieces. We'll be ready to start adding these in with the title, the image, and the URL custom field that we just created.